Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share with you a thought that came to my mind after I finished my silly brain teaser video. Um, what I am thinking about is how some of us really don't quite get what love really is. And a lot of you know love is the central theme of my whole channel. But listen, when God teaches us how to love the way that he loves, one of the things you will notice is in true love, everything does not have to go your way. And if someone tells you they love you, everything does not have to go their way either. Another thing that you can check for. Is the other person concerned about what is important to you? Or does every part of the conversations that occur between the two of you end up revolving around them and their interests? Or vice versa? Vice versa. Does it end up revolving around you? You can check your love out and you can check the other person's love out. It's really interesting. Do you get a fat attitude and you don't want to play? Hmm. If you don't get to do what you want to do. Do you find it hard to forgive? Do you find it hard to ask for forgiveness? Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay. Another thing, if you find the other person getting on your last nerve, nine times out of ten, recheck and see if you still have any feelings for that person at all. I'm serious. The more you love a person, the less they annoy you. Some of the minor annoyances can actually end up being quite funny and adorable at times. But if everything about that person annoys you, the way they speak, the way they walk, the way they move, the way they dress, the way they gesture, whatever. If that annoys you, just the way they are, their basic personality, then guess what? Rethink the terms, will you marry me? Or rethink the answer, yes. Rethink that. Either way, no matter what side of that coin you're on, you have to see if, if everything you do, that person wants to change in you. Hmm. If the way you dress is not the way sister so-and-so dresses or the way Mrs. So-and-so or you're constantly being compared to other people, check them out. You should go to them and get advice because they got it together. Well, if they have it so together, then that person needs to consider that person as a mate rather than you. Don't you think? Think about that. Think about it. God says love covers a multitude of sin. But see, where there is no love, all the shortcomings just pop up and get on your last nerves. Everything bugs you, drives you up the wall. A person can be so annoying to you, it's like hearing chalk scratch and squeak on the, on the blackboard or hearing uh, something scraping up against wood. Those sounds, they get all up under your skin. Well, some people are like that. And if you call yourself loving somebody like that, or you're that person and the person you think loves you, treats you like you get on their last nerve, 
like that, it's probably not a match made in heaven and also probably was never meant to be in the first place. Leave you on that thought. For those of you who are thinking of saying the I do's, think again. <laughs>